Welcome everybody to session two. This is the second of three sessions where we're going to work up to a movement called wheel arms. We're going to turn the waist like this. We're going to build upon what we left off on last session and then wrap this movement up in the next session. For now, I'm going to warm up the shoulders. Make sure you get the full range of motion. Get everything loose and warm so you don't pull any muscles. We'll do some forward circles with the shoulders as well as some backward. And you can do any kind of warm up that you're used to or that's helpful for you to, again, get this full range of motion. And you continue with that while I explain a little bit about this movement. By the end of it, we're going to be swinging the arm very fast and very forceful. So you really want to make sure that your, your shoulders are loose and that you're working with the natural mechanics of your body so that you can get the most fluid and efficient movement without tearing anything, without hurting yourself. So for now, just get everything warmed up. Also, when you do the movement, you're going to want to focus on having the hand be very solid, very tight, completely tense. This is about isolating the muscles. Your hands are very solid. At the same time as you do that, you want your shoulder to be uh, feel empty, have more of a water or air type of quality where it's almost not there. So when you're doing this movement, you have the hand very solid, whether it's a fist when you're swinging it or claw, whatever you do. Uh, I'm going to be teaching it as a palm today. You're going to have the hand be very focused, very solid, and then the shoulder be a lot more open, more versatile to get you a full range of motion so you can really flow with it. The feeling that you want to get from that is as though you're swinging a rock or a piece of metal on a string. So when you're doing this movement, it's like your hand is very solid and then your shoulder is open and you can just toss it, get the power that way. And also, as I said last session, you could take these movements and incorporate them into your own choreography or you could also alternatively treat these as more of an exercise of how to limber your body up and move more naturally because the same principle of tightening up the fist or tightening up the hand, the palm, whatever it is, the same principle of having that very solid and the shoulder very relaxed. You can apply that to any kind of strike that you're doing in more of a combat setting, uh, whatever your focus is. So we're going to start the movement out this way with the palm out. We're going to have the left palm out, do the mirror image. And with the wushu palm, it's going to be fingers straight and thumb pulled back. So very, very tense with the hand. At the same time as you're doing that, you want the shoulder to be completely relaxed, isolating the muscles. Uh, you can do the palm, you can do a fist, whatever you do just make sure the hand is very tensed and the shoulder is very relaxed. The beginning of the movement is going to be from what we'll call the home position here and you're going to take the left hand, drop it down and draw a circle in front of you and come back to home. So this is a downward circle in front and come back. Drop the circle, come back to home. Drop and come back, keeping the shoulder relaxed. And you'll know, it's good to practice this slowly at first, because then you'll know if your shoulder is uh, tense at all. You won't be able to keep this up very long if, you're, if you have this tense. So really focus on letting that go. Have the hand tense, but the shoulder relaxed. Circle in front, come back to home. And the other thing to pay attention to is to also really start engaging the hips. Turn the waist with it. You'll only be able to get this full circle if when you drop the left hand, you turn to the right a little bit, come back home. So this is downward circle in front, come back home. Next circle, it's going to be downward circle behind. So do the same thing, but draw the circle behind you, come back home. In front, come back home. Downward circle behind, come back home. I'll face away from you. Left hand is out. You're dropping it down in front, turning to the right, come back home. Drop it down behind, come back home. So the first time, you have to turn to the right a little bit. The next time, to get this full circle, you're going to have to turn your waist to the left. Otherwise, you're going to get caught here, won't be able to do the movement. So when you're dropping it behind, turn to the left. So in front, behind. Turn the circle in front, behind. In front, behind. And turn the waist to the right, and then to the left. You're going to start with the movement slow. Like I said, it's going to help you to learn how to maneuver your body a little bit better without uh, getting in your own way and it's also going to force you to loosen up the shoulder because if you're tense at all you're going to feel it very soon you're not going to be able to keep this up so relax the shoulder keep turning then once you start to speed it up once you finally get comfortable with that and you want to get a little more force a little more speed it's the same as uh, how we went over in the previous session you're going to dig into the ground and then generate that force that speed from turning the waist getting all the power from the ground up. So when you really want to start, you start with the left hand here, drop it, spin from your waist. Spin once in front of you, 
once behind you. Try the other hand, the same thing. We started with the left palm out. Now the right palm out, fingers straight, thumb pulled back if you're doing the wushu way. Right palm out, do a circle in front, come back. And then a circle behind, come back home. Drop it in front, draw a full circle, come back home. And then again, you have to turn your waist to do the full circle behind you. One in front, one behind. One in front, one behind. Going slow and steady and still focusing on keeping the shoulder relaxed, the hand tense, and then engaging the waist, getting your power from turning. When you drop it, when you drop the hand in front, you're gonna to turn to the left. When you drop the hand behind, turn to the right. Facing you, so you can see a uh, mirror image. Right hand out, downward circle, back home. Downward circle behind, back home. In front, back home, behind. Once you finally get comfortable, you're not gonna stop at that home position. That's just to help get coordinated when you're learning it. When you really do it, it's gonna be a circle in front, straight into a circle behind, with no stop. Just have the waist keep turning. So that's the first part, is doing a downward circle. You could do it with the left hand out, downward in front, behind. You could do it with the right hand out, downward in front, behind, and just keep that going. To do the full movement, as we're gonna go over in the next session, you're gonna to have to be able to do this arm circle both downward and then the other direction as well, up. So let's try that now with the left hand out, palms always tensed, fingers straight, thumb bent, and you're gonna do an upward circle this time, starting from the home position, draw a circle up, come back home, and then same as before, that was an upward circle in front, now you're going to do upward circle behind. So just follow along, facing away. Left hand out, you're gonna start with up in front, draw the circle, and then up behind. Come back home, draw the circle up in front, come back home, up behind. And focus on the same things as before. Shoulders relaxed. If your shoulder is tense, you're not gonna be able to keep this movement up for very long. It's gonna be uncomfortable. Keep the shoulder relaxed, the hand tense. Go up in front, and as soon as you come back home, you're going up behind. And you're only gonna be able to get the full movement if you're turning the waist all the way. So when you go in front, turning the waist to the right. When you go behind, turn the waist to the left and get comfortable. These movements, you're gonna have to listen to your body to see how to do, how to best make this fluid and make it uh, the most natural movement. Uh, whenever you're learning a movement, your, your instructor is kind of like your first teacher. So in this case, I'm, I'm giving you this movement, I'm, the, your, your, I'm your first instructor or anyone else who's taught you this. But then from that point on, your body becomes your, your greatest asset, your greatest teacher, because you're gonna take these movements and uh, right now you learn the, the basics of it. As you go ahead and practice it, you gotta listen to your body, see what makes sense, and uh, take it from there. That's how you're gonna make the movement your own and make it actually flow. Uh, so that was the left hand going up. Now comes the right hand, right hand straight. Before we did a downward circle, now we're doing upward circle. So right hand out at the home position, up, in front of you, come back home, up, behind come back home. Up in front, up behind. When you're going in front, you're turning to the left with your waist. When you go behind, you're turning to the right. And then just keep it moving. Swing it up and in front, almost like, a, like an uppercut kind of uh, feeling. You're here, you're smacking something up, and then you're here, smack it up behind. In front, behind, with a mirror image. Right hand is out, you're going up, in front, and you're only going to be able to get the full range of motion if you engage the waist. So you start here, turn the waist when you go around. Turn the waist. So those, those are the movements. Practice those over and over until it gets comfortable, until your shoulder can uh, maintain a full range of motion and your palms or your fist can stay solid at the same time. You're going to do both those movements. With the left hand out, you're going to do the downward circle in front, behind, in front, behind. You're also going to do the upward circle in front, behind, in front, behind. Uh, same thing with the other hand. Go down, and then also up.
And once you get that smooth and comfortable to where you don't have to think about it, you just turn the waist and the hand goes, then putting them both together, putting the two arms together as we're going to do in the next session is going to come uh, very naturally. So work on this first, get that very comfortable. Uh, and like I said before, listen to your body as well. If you're doing the movement and you feel your shoulders starting to lock, the bones don't seem to be moving in the right way, that's telling you something, that's feedback that you have to work with and find a way around. Find the most natural way to draw this circle with your body. Once you get it uh, comfortable in this way, we'll be able to move on to the next session. We're going to coordinate both the arms together into one movement. Uh, so yeah, keep practicing. If you have any questions, make sure to put them down in the comments. If you have any footage you want to share of either modifying the movement at all into your own practice or you just have any questions uh, with the exercise, uh, make sure to post that as well. You can share it as a story, anything like that. Love to see that. Um, and thank you all for coming. See you next time.